going on everybody in today's video what are we doing and what are we talking about today i'm here to give you guys the lowdown on what's going on with me and my channel lately reality is i've been trying a bunch of different things trying different types of posts trying shorts you know just sort of testing the waters with uh, different content and you know seeing how things pan out with uh, the analytics and so i'm going to be continuing to do that you're always going to see me you know, throwing new things out and just seeing how they pan out. And, you know, so there is going to be some changes happening to the channel. So if you see something different or something, you know, drastically different, uh, you know, don't worry about it. It's just me testing out some stuff. One other thing that's kind of a, a bit of a burden is that the fact is that I'm moving again. <laughs> So I have to relocate. So things are going to be a little hectic uh, over the next month or so. So if you guys see some, you know, significant changes in how I'm posting videos or posting my content, it's primarily because of the, you know, being uprooted and having to relocate and moving everything, all the, you know, the lab, all my gear, all the equipment. Uh, so it's going to be a bit hectic, but I'm going to be pushing to maintain posting content for you guys. Uh, so you guys have something cool to watch on, you know, Friday afternoons. So today I've got a couple of pieces of Sega related development gear uh, to share with you guys and show you uh, this hardware. And it's for the Sega Saturn and as well for the Sega Game Gear. So let's check it out. Here we go. Okay, so the first one that we're going to be looking at is the Sega Saturn that I want to show you guys. So this is not your normal Sega Saturn. Uh, so right off the bat, uh, you guys might notice there is something different about this Sega Saturn. And right away, it's this cable that's, you know, hanging out the front of it. And there's a 10-pin IDC connector there. I might have to throw an image up there for you to see it. Now this was a part of a development kit that was released by the company Cross Products uh, for the Sega Saturn and that system is called the Cart Dev. The one main difference about this unit, not only the cable that's coming out of the front, but if I turn it around on its side, you guys will notice uh, this special uh, interface connector here. Now, recently a buddy on Twitter mentioned to me that this VCD port uh, is actually used by a special type of interface card that emulates uh, the CD-ROM here on the Sega Saturn. And so essentially what that is, is developers would interface a special cable to a proprietary interface card for a Windows PC. And that would have memory on board that would allow the system to access and essentially emulate the CD-ROM here on the Sega Saturn. And so developers could then go and quickly change the data within that memory on the interface card. But the console would then read that information as if it was reading a CD. So it wouldn't know the difference between that. And so there was the option of using uh, the interface card, uh, but as well there was another system that was called the Mirage. And that was another type of uh, hardware unit where it would essentially emulate uh, the CD-ROM as well. And both of these systems would allow developers to quickly make changes uh, to the memory that was being accessed that was emulating uh, the CD-ROM on the Sega Saturn. And so again, it's just a very, very speedy way of making changes without having to always burn a CD uh, to test that uh, section of code when the game was under development. So that was a real game changer uh, for developers uh, to use. So now this VCD connector here, this is an MDR50 type connector. Now, it's not your average MDR50 connector. This particular connector that was used by a lot of different Sega equipment was manufactured by the company Fujitsu. Now, in the past, there was a lot of, you know, skeptical, you know, and there was people debating over whether that was the case. A lot of people were saying that it was a 
Sega branded proprietary connector. But in the past, I, you know, that did not make any sense to me at all that Sega would go and manufacture and spend all that money to manufacture a custom connector when I actually went and researched and found out that Sega had already done a partnership business for the Sega Saturn uh, with Fujitsu. And so I started looking into this and, you know, wondering if it might actually be a Fujitsu brand. And sure enough, I had a couple of buddies online that uh, were willing to open up their connectors. And we actually found the Fujitsu logo imprinted on the original cables uh, that were used with this particular device and this type of connector. Now, what I found out was that the, the type of MDR50 connectors that Fujitsu manufactured were actually slightly smaller. And so the, the measurements were just slightly different and they ended up discontinuing the model and so a lot of people were thinking oh no you know we're not going to be able to get connectors we're not going to be able to build you know different cables to use with these devices and but what ended up happening the reality of what happened was is that honda electronics took over that design of cable that originally was being manufactured by fujitsu and they continued to manufacture them so you can actually still buy these connectors today uh, from Honda Electronics. So uh, that was a huge research project that I did way back and uh, you know came out victorious. Now we're able to build uh, those cables for uh, this VCD interface. So it's pretty cool. So the next thing I want to show you guys is a development kit used for the Sega Game Gear. So uh, these are a proprietary design by the company Real Time River Run. And this was manufactured in 1992. Now, of course, it's a little rough around the edges, uh, but it's a proprietary design. And I've got a couple of these that I'll show you. And what these are essentially is like an interface cartridge and you essentially insert it into the back of the Game Gear handheld as such. So you guys can see it there. And you just insert it in the back. There's a, a second daughter board here that's actually acting uh, like a cartridge. And so that just gets inserted into the back of the console like so. And it just slides in there and then mates with the internal contacts uh, for the cartridge. And that's how uh, that gets inserted there. And then you have on the face here of this uh, main circuit board, you have an IDC connector. And supposedly that gets connected to a special proprietary ISA interface card uh, with some onboard memory. And that would allow developers to perform debug breakpoints. Uh, and that's supposedly, it's, it's still not 100% sure. We don't have any documentation, or at least we haven't found any to this point. So if anyone does have any information on the real-time River Run development kits uh, for the Sega Game Gear, that would be really awesome. If you guys could uh, share some links with me or just, you know, send me a message on Twitter. It'd be really cool to gather some further information on these. But a pretty cool little development unit. Uh, it'll be exciting to see if we might be able to get our hands on an ISA card and potentially do some tests. So that's, uh, that's cool and interesting and a lot of fun. Pretty awesome. All right, that's today's video, everybody. I wanna give a huge shout out to my supporters and my brand new supporter. His name is William. Billy, thanks for joining my supporters group. I uh, really appreciate you jumping on board and that's helping me out a lot to uh, continue posting content here for you guys. So that's awesome, uh, really appreciate it. And to anyone else that wants to join my supporters group, uh, you can visit my website. That's behindthecode.ca. And you can find the supporters link there. So this is awesome. So it was a great little demo of some uh, Sega development gear on a cool Friday afternoon. Can't go wrong with that, right? So thanks so much for watching, everybody. Hit the like and subscribe if you can. It's always appreciated. And we'll see you in the next video. Take it easy and bye for now. Ciao.